Hello booktube, this is Kelly with Books I'm Not Reading. Welcome to my channel. I know we have quite a few uh, new people out there watching, so welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I previously did a video about um, some of my ornaments from around the world. and But I did promise that I would do one focused on our more bookish ornaments, which as you can imagine, we have quite a few. Um, so, thank you for indulging me on my little journey around the world on my tree. Um, but now we're gonna we're gonna talk about a little bit more about um, book related ornaments that Jason and I have. So I'm gonna start off with a few that some of you that some of you may have already um, that were you know accessible in a in a variety of stores. So uh, we have. Charlotte's Web, and there is actually a spider hanging there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, this is, um, we have two actually of these, so, but this is my favorite one, and this is where the wild things are. And I just love how it actually has like the book on the back of it. But um, yeah, so that one. While we were working at Barnes and Noble, they came out with um, a Peter Rabbit ornament. So, uh, Jasmine from Jasmine's Reads. Now we will think of you as well when we look at our little Peter Rabbit, um, as Beatrix Potter is from uh, Jasmine's, where Jasmine grew up in the Lake District. So, there's that one. These might have been a little. I saw them in multiple places, so um, so you may have them, you may not, but uh, this is a great one. <laughs> as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, we have to have that, <laughs> because just a big giant pile of books. Um, I think this is how Jason would decorate the entire house if he had his way. We also have one that uh, is for book club members, which I'm trying to get close enough so that you can see. Uh, and I think it actually, yeah, it's, it's Sense and Sensibility, which made Jason happy. Um, but we got this, we have a little tiny Christmas store here in town that's just open from like October to Christmas. And uh, so every one year we got this ornament for all of the members of um, the book club that we're in. And of course we had to get one for ourselves. So... All right, I love this one. I think my parents got this for us. It's dated 2007, so Jason and I would have been married a year. Um, and it's a bookstore. So at the time, we were both working for Barnes & Noble. And then on the other side, you can see there's shelves, chairs. There's a little, a tiny, tiny little cash register. I do have to say, though, I've never been to a bookstore like this. <laughs> um, I love that there's like a ladder for the books, but there's only like two, like there's like books on this side and books on this side and that's it. So <laughs> anyway, but it also looks like it's a very comfy place. There's a Christmas tree all the way in the back there. Can you see it? So uh, anyway, it's a very charming uh, ornament. And like I said, I have a feeling there's a few of you out there with it. Um, so next, Jason, uh, you know, at his office, makes no bones about how much he loves books. And one year, uh, somebody in his office actually made these ornaments for him, which was very kind of her. And um, I do worry about how fragile they are. They're very kind of Etsy-ish, so I mean, she made them herself, so there's a bunch of words in there with the little bows on that one. Then we have one with almost like dollhouse-sized little books, which I think is really cute. And then there's this one with a whole bunch of more words and some kind of 
looks like glittery sort of snow in there. Anyway, so that was very sweet of her. And we do enjoy those ornaments. Okay, so I asked Jason this morning, I said, are you going to do a video about the Christmas ornaments on the tree? And he decided no, but it was only on the condition that I include the following ornament in this video. So, I know he doesn't look very bookish from the outside, and no, this is not Wilbur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Earl Butts, um, who is a pig, and not just any pig, he is a white Landry's pig. And he is a uh, prominent figure in Jane Smiley's book, Moo, which I have not read. But Jason absolutely loves that book, and oh my god, I think, I think we had to be, we were in another town when we bought this ornament. I mean, we were looking at, at pigs everywhere. It was just so weird. We we're like, do you have any pig ornaments, you know, looking for this one pig? And he'd be like, no, that's not, that's not what that kind of pig looks like. It's not what a white land race looks like. So anyway, I uh, have to make sure Earl Butts is on the tree. <laughs> um, these next two I actually bought on clearance after <laughs> Christmas um, not last year but the year before uh, I, I thought they were fantastic but they were a little out of my price range pre-Christmas so um, I'd love to know if any of you have these but this one is Pride and Prejudice and uh, it's, that's what it says there with the assumption that it's Pemberley and that's Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy. So, like I said, I couldn't afford it uh, uh, before Christmas, but after Christmas, no problem. That was a great sale. This ornament is very special. Um, and again, I, I didn't buy it pre-Christmas. I bought it after the fact. I'll get a little bit closer here. But there's a quote from A Christmas Carol on there. That's a picture of our cat, Harry, um, who uh, we got the same time as we got Blue, uh, our cat, but um, Harry got really sick and uh, he only spent less than a year with us, but every every minute was a joy um, with him, so we really miss him a lot, and uh, he loved the Christmas tree, uh, wanted to climb the Christmas tree, but it, it also, uh, the quote is, I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. Um, you know, this ornament doesn't just represent Harry, like, it represents um, people that we have loved and lost. And so this is um, a very important ornament on the tree and always gets put someplace where we can see it. Okay. I have no idea how I got this ornament, <laughs> but I, I'm sure I got it as a child. It says a Christmas carol, but gosh, you can hardly see it. The font is just so small. Um, and it says by Charles Dickens. There is not a single sentence, a single word from a Christmas carol in this little book. And I am not familiar with any of the little phrases and stories that are in here. They're all about Santa. Um, Santa's factory, and I, I, but there's no, you know, Santa likes good children, shocker there, I'm sure. Uh, anyway, so I've had this for eons, and uh, of course, when I married Jason, and he saw that this is my ornament, like he was thrilled. So that, um, that goes up on the tree as well. Okay, the last ones. My grandmother and my mother, uh, my mother is and my grandmother was tremendously creative people and made, made spectacular ornaments for trees and shared them with people and that sort of thing. So, and I was lucky enough to inherit um, these from, I'm pretty sure that these were on my grandma's tree, but it's the Wizard of Oz. And I don't know how old they are. They've held up pretty well. I mean, there's a few, 
a few things probably missing here and there. A few sequins. So there's a good look at the scarecrow. We have the lion. Um, the tin man. I mean, considering how old they are, I think it's pretty, it's pretty astonishing. And then this is Dorothy. And the thing that I really love about Dorothy is like, she's not, this is not Judy Garland. <laughs> um, there's no blue gingham dress. And I don't know if that's because my grandmother just wanted to use material she already has, uh, already had, um, which sounds very much like her. And I mean, I, you know, I find it hard to believe that she would have made these prior to the movie, but I have no, again, I don't, don't know how old they are. So, uh, anyway, you, you just can't buy things like this anymore. Uh, you have to go to a, a craft fair or some kind of specialty thing. And then most, more recently, we got a pair, and this is like a, probably a Hallmark ornament, um, a nice pair of the uh, ruby slippers there. So, so I try to hang those all together on the tree and low down so that if Blue swats at them, um, it's not a big deal. So that's kind of a look at the bookish ornaments on my tree. I hope I didn't miss any, but I probably did. Um, the last thing I wanted to share with you was, um, I, I really like sharing some of my family um, traditions at Christmas. And one of them is that it's good luck to have a bird's nest on your tree. And I apologize if I've said this in a previous video, but it's good luck to have. And so we have, we have lots and lots of bird houses and bird nests. Um, but this is this is the one I have. I think once upon a time there might have been two eggs in there. I'm not sure, but there's at least still one there. Maybe the other one hatched and is flying in, on my tree. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that was always something growing up that was a big deal that we had to, we had to make sure the bird's nest was on the tree. So not a bookish thing, but just a family thing to share with you. Those are my, my bookish ornaments. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, welcome to those of you who are new. Thank you so much to those of you who have been around for a while. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I've really enjoyed seeing other people's Christmas trees and, and other people doing kind of ornament tours. I think that's really cool. Um, some of you, uh, have gone to you know markets where they're selling ornaments and that's great that's really fun so i know we're deviating a little bit from what we normally talk about on book two but it's good to mix it up a little bit right so take care everyone have a great day um, remember to be kind to yourself and others bye